Well, Antoinette, we spoke with a man who crossed over that bridge just 15 minutes before this incident. Now he's left wondering if there are other potential dangers throughout the city. The woman was laying on the sidewalk between the lamppost and the, and the guardrail, sort of. And she wasn't moving for a while. Michael Crowley had a front row seat to yesterday's emergency in the seaport when a woman was seriously injured by a falling light pole that struck her while walking on the Moakley Bridge around 3 p.m. Her head was on the concrete pushed against the um, the railing, the metal railing. I don't know if she was with friends or family, but eventually somebody started to help her sit up. Boston police say the woman in her 30s has non-life-threatening injuries, while Boston Public Works inspected the site and evaluated all the street poles. Photos obtained by five investigates show another pole on the bridge badly rusted, a similar observation Michael made. And um, at least four of them were so rusted through with the rest lines of holes that you could look through one side of the bottom of the lamppost and see out the other side of the bottom of the lamppost. It was very obvious that um, something should have been done a long time ago. Boston Public Works crews were seen removing other poles from the bridge last night. The city says they closed lanes of traffic and the sidewalks until the area was deemed safe, an area that sees thousands of pedestrians and motorists crossing over each day. Well, what really makes you question is how many other places in the city are like this. Now, the city continues to investigate the situation and has reopened the roadway and the sidewalks on the Moakley Bridge. Reporting live in the seaport, Matt Reed, WCVB News Center 5.